Hello, Internet. It is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Predictions. Today, we're going to be talking about Ferrari. So, as usual, we're going to be going over the pros and cons. So, let's get to it. Pros. Um, Let's see. Movie stars Adam, Dr- Adam Driver. This guy. Very recognizable guy. It's been quite a few movies. You know, House of Gucci. Marriage Story, Black Klansman, I guess Logan Lucky, I guess. But obviously his main claim to fame is being Kylo Ren in the Star Wars sequel trilogy. And man, I remember when The Force Awakens was coming out, when I saw Kylo Ren, I thought he was like the coolest dude. No joke. Like I had, like I bought like pajamas (laughs) with his, um, with him on it. I had, like, his little lightsaber. I was so hyped for him. And little did I know how uh, horribly the sequel trilogy would treat him. And pretty much most of the characters. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but he's a very recognizable face. Even if a lot of his movies, they haven't done too great. Like, Last Duel and 65 were both huge flops. But, still... It's a very recognizable face, and I would label that as a pro. So that's pro number one. I mean, I guess I could label the rest of the cast, but they're kind of like supporting players here. I mean, there's Penelope Cruz. She's been in a lot of stuff. Like a whole lot of stuff. Because the main ones I could point to is there's Blow, Vanilla Sky, Gothica, Sahara. Ugh, probably best not to remember those. Uh, G Force. Was she a voice or a, no? She was a voice in that, so it doesn't really count. Uh, nine. No one remembers that movie at all. It was kind of weird, but kind of cool. It came out like in t- nine. A movie called Nine coming out in two thousand nine. Like it, it, it. From what I heard, it sucked. <laughs> um. Yeah, mostly supporting stuff after that. The Zoolander 2, that's a movie we all should forget. <laughs> but yeah, not much after that. And there's also, who else is there? I think I saw Shane Lee Woodley. Yeah, Shane Lee Woodley. Man, what happened to her? Like, seriously. Like, the early 2010s, the first half of the 2010s, was like, that was her time to shine. Because, I mean, there's The Descendants... The Divergent movies, Fallen Our Stars, she was doing really well, and then something just went, like, so wrong after that. It took a bad turn after that. And now she's pretty much doing nothing. <laughs> um, And who else do we have? Jack O'Connell, who is the... Oh, I think it was the main guy from Unbroken. Yeah, he is. He hasn't really done much. No, he hasn't really, besides Unbroken, a movie that's going to be 10 years old around the same time next year. Um, And the Hustlers, I don't, he wasn't a main player in that, so can't really comment on him. Is there anyone else? Patrick Dempsey, I could talk about him. He's been some stuff. Recently, he was in the Thanksgiving movie, which did quite all right. There's also Transformers Dark of the Moon. Yeah, <laughs> Valentine's Day, Enchanted. That's a that's a favorite of mine right there. Uh, Scream Three, where I believe, yeah, he wasn't Scream Three. The Scream movie, we probably don't, we shouldn't talk about, and not really much else after that. So, um, yeah, so the supporting cast. I mean, some are re- very recognizable. But I wouldn't label the supporting cast as either pro or con, so I'm just gonna that's middle ground. But this is this is the Adam the Adam Driver show, pretty much. So I guess he's pro number one. Pro number two, reviews for this movie are good. They're okay. 73% is solid. But considering this is supposed to win awards and whatnot, this has obviously been engineered to be an Oscar flick. This, the reviews need to be better, but as they are, they're not bad. So I'm going to label that as a pro. 
Um, another pro, this is opening Christmas Day. Christmas Day is historically a good day to release movies. It's a bit, you know, it's the movie where like a t- it's like the tide that raises all boats. Every movie does well until like the new year. So yeah, that's like prime time for movie going. So releasing Christmas Day, blah blah blah, is a pro. And I guess like I might, I might as well mention on Michael, Michael Mann, where is he? there he is, Michael Mann. Uh, let's look at his track record. He's had some hits under his belt. I don't know about Manhunt. I don't think so. What is Manhunter? Yeah, I don't. Oh, this this was like the sequ- the prequel to like Silence of the Lambs. This is before Silence of the Lambs. Huh. This is that Last of the Mohicans. Does, I don't think that has a great reputation. Does it? I don't think it does. I'm not sure. I'm going to look it up just in case. Really fast. Well, as fast as I can with like one hand. <laughs> um, going to Wikipedia. The last of the Mohicans. Does that have a good... Rep- okay, it has a good reputation. All right. <laughs> so, and apparently this is the only... This is a movie where... The only movie where Michael Mann won an Oscar <laughs> for Best Sound. So, you learn something new every day. <laughs> um, he also made Heat, which was a big hit. Big old hit for him. Um, The Inside. I don't think The Insider was a success. Was it as... Nope. <laughs> We're going to move right on from that. Ali. That was by him. Fun fact. I've literally been talking about Ali because I've been using that as an example of how just because you release your movie Christmas Day doesn't mean you're going to be a hit. So the fact that I'm talking about it again because it's a Michael Mann movie is weirdly appropriate. <laughs> so yeah, Ali was a huge flop. Collateral was not a flop. It was a big uh, hit well not a big big hit but it's solid enough so you know you got collateral miami vice was a flop a real expensive flop too uh black hat ooh. public enemies did all right did fine and then really not much else a lot of this is like producing stuff so Michael Mann, he has some hits under his belt, but he also has some huge flops too. So can't really, I mean, I guess for some people, his name might be a draw. So I guess that's a pro-ish. <laughs> so that's another pro, I guess. And I think that's really it. So cons. Oof. Um, the buzz. There is none. <laughs> Literally, nobody is discussing this movie at all. It's like most people don't, forgot this movie even exists. <laughs> and considering the fact that it's coming out Christmas Day, that's real bad. So yeah, when it comes to like all the Christmas Day movies, like this, Color Purple, and Boys in the Boat, this has the least amount of attention. It has less attention than Boys in the Boat, which is just pathetic, <laughs> to say the least. And considering this costs like ninety five million dollars, yeah, that that's no good. You 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 gotta market that movie if you you gotta market a movie if you're gonna spend this much on it. You gotta market it to get that money back, <laughs> and it's that's obviously not gonna happen now. So yeah, just the severe lack of marketing and attention. That's a con. Another con is the fact that there there's too many comp. Well, there's too much competition out right now when it comes to movies opening on Friday and movies opening on Christmas Day. It's too much, and this is definitely going to be one of the movies that gets squeezed out because of all that competition. Because when it comes to Christmas movies, it's like only like the strong survive and the rest just perish. And this is definitely going to perish, no doubt about it. So yeah, overwhelming amount of competition. <clears throat> competition that's a con i guess another i might as well mention michael mann's track record i guess it's more of a mixed bag because he has some hits but he has some bombs man and it's uh, it's, uh, it's really hard to erase those flops so i guess 
there's that too. And the fact that this is opening on Christmas Day, I already mentioned with Ollie that just because you release a movie Christmas Day doesn't mean you're going to have a, a good life. Doesn't mean you're going to have a long life. <laughs> okay. So, so that's a con. A bit of a con. And I think that's really it. Yeah, that's it. So, gotta do opening day and then opening weekend because Christmas is on a Monday this year. Um, opening day, God. Uh, ooh. Mm. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um. I'm going to go lower than boys in the bottom. I'm going to say one to two million. Let's go with that. One to two million. That's what I'm going to go with for opening day. And it's opening weekend. It could hit like two, three, four million if it's lucky. And it's total. I wouldn't be surprised if it was less than 10, honestly. Well, 10, which is absolutely embarrassing considering its budget. But I may be wrong with my prediction. In fact, there's a very strong chance I'll be wrong, but... That's that's what that's my gut prediction. That's what I feel is gonna happen. So that's what I'm gonna stick with. And that's it for that. One more movie to discuss, and then I'm done with these prediction videos until January fifth. And that is gonna feel really good <laughs> to not make prediction videos for the next two weeks. So one more, and that's poor things. And then we'll be done for twenty with twenty twenty three. So woohoo! <laughs> So yeah, that's it. That's all. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn on notifications, share the whole drill. I'll check out more videos like this. I got playlists on the homepage, all previous um, prediction videos I made this year. You want to watch any of those? You want to watch any of the ones I've done recently of like anyone but you, Aquaman 2, Iron Claw, and Migration. I did all those Wednesday. So you want to watch any of those? Any other ones I've done on the channel from this year, the past few years, you can go right ahead. There's also the Cancelled series where I go over all the movies that were supposed to come out but didn't. I covered Ferrari one time, and that was episode 197. Uh, I talked about it alongside Saw X, White Bird, Dirty Dancing 2, and the Borderlands movie. So... Yeah, yeah, so that's why I talked about the only time I talked about it. So you want to watch that video, go right ahead. You want to watch any of the past cancel episodes I made. There's now 224 episodes. Soon there'll be 225 after I'm done recording this. And uh, poor things, so stay tuned for that. But if you want to watch any of the past recap videos I made on the channel, uh, you want to binge all those videos from like beginning to now, I highly encourage you to do that, so go do it. There's also box office recaps where I go over the box office results of any particular month. Uh, December recap will come out around the first week or so of January, as will my two-part 2023 recaps. So you want to watch, so stay tuned for those. But if you want to, <laughs> if you want to watch any of the past recap videos I made on the channel, you can go right ahead. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.